Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with therawfoodworld.com. Yes, it's true, I went one year without ejaculating until now. And I'm going to share with you the reasoning, the spiritual benefits, the longevity benefits of doing something like this and why I had done this and also my experience of what happened. Um, so, I heard the story of a man who lived to be well over 100 years old. I think it might even have been 120 or whatever. But anyway, I was reading this article um, and he was talking about how he did it. And the two main things, well, there's a few things, but um, two of the main things was, well, he said yoga, but he also said um, he was celibate. He would never ejaculate. And that was like the key to his longevity. And um, as many of you know, one of my favorite uh, raw food authors, he wasn't 100% raw, but um, pretty close to it, um, was Dr. Norman Walker. He lived to be about 99 years old. It does controversy between 99 and 107. No raw foodist I've ever seen has lived that long, but he ate some other things also. I think he ate some uh, Swiss cheese and eggs on occasion also. Um, but what he had said in his books was, um, he did not have sex often or ejaculate often because of the health implications. He didn't say he never did it, um, but I believe he would say he would do it like maybe once a month maybe at the most. Um, and his reasoning is, is because um, the ejaculation um, has cerebral spinal fluid in it. And um, you know, the cerebral spinal fluid is one of our most valuable liquids in our bodies. It, it like coats our eyeballs, it coats our brain, our spinal, our spine and everything like this. And um, when you ejaculate, the cerebral spinal fluid is released and it's a very long, it's one of the most long, it's one of the most important fluids in the body and can impact, you know, cognitive functioning um, when, abused and affect your longevity, I guess you could say. And then I remember reading books, you know, those old school books from health research. There was a man named Hilton Hotima who was into breatharianism. Um, he, he would do like research on like the human anatomy and like what happened over time with the human body. Um, and he would show that um, the digestive system, along with our sexual system, our, all that stuff was actually dormant. And our spiritual organs, like our pineal gland and all of our six senses were fully activated. Um, and what would happen over time is the more we use these physical um, systems, such as the digestive tract and sexual organs, we, they would become undormented, if that's even a word, and we would utilize them. And then our, um, in conjunction with that, the spiritual organs would kind of like deteriorate. Like the more you use these, the less you have of that. As if you were to look at this in terms of biblical times, I would say like um, back in the day of Garden of Eden, um, we were eating very little and there was no really sex or anything like that. And everything was kind of dormant. I'm sure their spiritual capacity was much greater than it is for most of us today. So about a year ago, I decided to go celibate and no longer ejaculate anymore. I mean, I had screwed everything up with Angela, so I wasn't getting, I'm not getting or wasn't getting anything in that department anyways. So I decided to do this venture, um, you know, just to have something in my corner <laughs> of um, having extreme longevity and, um, you know, increasing my spiritual capacity, I was hoping um, during this process. So during the last year I did this, I'm pretty good at things like this. As many of you know, I've been, was a raw, was a raw, 100% raw food eater for 23 years. I have a special ability where I can control, you know, my desires of eating food, sex and things like this. I have, I'm really good at that type of thing. Um, so for the last year, I haven't ejaculated or done anything, masturbated or anything like that, um, just so I can do this adventure. So I went one entire year without ejaculating. And, you know, the other night, you know, Angela's like walking around in her little nighty. I'm usually really good with this. I'm, I have very good control and things like this. Um, but, you know, over a year, you know, it could, you know, take a toll. 
but um, no, I'm usually fine. I've got I've really good abilities, as I was saying about that before. I was raw, 100% raw for 23 years. But anyway, um, I decided, you know, Norman Walker didn't say he never did it or anything like that. So I decided to um, t partake um, in doing this. And I had myself ejaculate for the first time in one year. And the shit hurt. Excuse my language, I'm sorry. I couldn't believe it. It almost felt kind of like unnatural in, a, in, in, in one minute. It was, it was like pain. And, you, and guys, you know, like after you orgasm and then you go and you pee in the toilet, it, it's almost like a second mini orgasm is kind of cool. Imagine that times 100 when I went peeing. And it wasn't just the first time I peed, it was the second time I peed also. It was absolutely insane. So it was almost like, it almost felt kind of unnatural, like this whole entire Hilton Hotima thing that we were discussing about how it was all dormant and stuff like that. It was just a very enlightening experience, I guess you could say. And ladies, this, is a, this video is actually very important for you also, um, because you also want to be um, conserving your cerebral spinal fluid. Um, and it is shown in clinical studies that because of all the processes that the female body goes through um, with pregnancy, it shows the cerebral um, spinal fluid goes down drastically. Um, Premenopausal um, symptoms, uh, the cerebral spinal fluid is like very low um, compared to postmenopausal. Um, so your, your body is going through so many changes over time um, and just in general, it's very important to, I mean, it's very important for women also. And plus, I believe during female orgasm, I feel that um, some cerebral f spinal fluids are being utilized also. Now, for those of you that watch pornography, I haven't done that probably in like 10 years or maybe six years or something like that. I don't know. I'm really bad with timelines. But um, as my spiritual capacity and abilities enhanced, um, I began to realize certain things. Um, for example, when I used to watch pornography when I was much younger, um, and my spiritual capacities, uh, and I learned about Jesus Christ and all these other things, and my abilities increased and my responsibility increased, I noticed that when I would do something like this, there would be some sort of like attachment to the things involved on the TV screen or computer when you're doing something like this. And there's a lot of suffering that will occur, like these attachments. Some people call them tentacles that will attach to you. Um, some people call them entities, demons, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna call it. But um, it's a real life person that you're doing this with. Um, and they're just feeding off your energy. You're giving them, it's almost like they just connect to you. Um, and they just drain you and it's something I recommend to stop doing if you possibly can. It's probably one of the worst things for our health and longevity. Um, I mean, it is what it is, you know? I mean, if it's what's, it's not the end of the world if someone feels like they've got to do something like this. But from my experience, it's, it's not good news. It causes spiritual attachments, I actually feel Feel, I felt it when I started uh, um, seeing more spiritually um, and had more responsibility with my spiritual you know, abilities, powers, whatever you want to call it, um, the more painful this type of thing became to the point where I was just like, I've got to stop this. And then um, you just have a lot more peace in your life um, and things like this. Um, and then over time, the addiction you get control over it. Just like when you go on a raw food diet, it takes time to um, get used to just only, you know, you know, you gotta get rid of cravings, you, all of your desires and all these other things. It just takes time, but over time you do it. And in terms of when I was on a raw food diet, I noticed like um, I was using my digestive tract glass, my spiritual organs felt like, I felt like more spiritual and stuff like this. But when I further reflect, while this stuff might be true, um, I really believe that with God, everything is possible. Um, and before we go on any further, the gifts that I've received spiritually, my abilities or whatever you want to call it, 
um, were gifts from God. Uh, while these things, these physical things we're going to talk about helps with, um, definitely helps with enhancing our spiritual cognitive abilities and things like this and our sixth sense, um, the number one thing is getting the gift from God. With, with him, anything is possible to where um, these things are secondary. But once you get these gifts and then you start watching porn or something like we talked about, you're going to know it. You're going to know the detriment of what it does. <laughs> so over the years, I have studied this subject immensely. And what we're going to talk about next are nootropics. Um, I have discovered like the ideal herbs, superfoods, products pretty much that enhance our sixth sense, our spiritual abilities, um, and can actually help our cognitive memory, our motor skills and everything like this. But we also have to be careful because it can also enhance um, our sexual desires, our sexual activity. If we have sexual dysfunction, it can increase that and it can also enhance you know, sexual orgasms and stuff like that. And um, so we wanna be careful with this also because um, we don't wanna to become too addicted to that type of thing either. Okay, so the first superfood we're going to talk about is our or certified organic sunflower lecithin. Um, it's the, in the most raw state compared to any sunflower lecithin on the planet. Um, but what's, what sunflower lecithin is, is organic phosphorus. Now, the pineal gland has more phosphorus in it compared to anything else. So the pineal gland pretty much contains more lecithin, organic phosphorus, compared to any other organ in the body. And lecithin is a precursor to acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter. So when we are doing all these different functionings, talking, breathing, thinking, all these other things, um, our brain is like doing all these synapses um, of neurotransmitters, like bing, 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 going all over the place. Um, and what is going on is lecithin is a precursor to all of these, um, we could say, transactions that happen in the brain on an ongoing basis continually for a long period of time. Um, so what happens is if the body's not getting enough organic phosphorus in our diet, it will actually take it um, from the pineal gland in order to make all of these neurotransmitters, synapses going ding, 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 ding in the human brain. So acetylcholine is responsible and necessary for motor control, memory, and cognition. So as we use this organic lecithin, um, our bodies will try to replenish it with the organic food and things like that that we eat. Um, unfortunately, um, with you know fluoridated water, inorganic food, the supplements and pharmaceutical drugs that we take have all of these um, inorganic phosphate crystals um, in them. And so when we are feeding our bodies this on an ongoing basis and also all the air pollution and stuff like this, we aren't getting that organic phosphorus anymore. And what happens is our um, pineal gland starts to atrophy over time when it doesn't get replenished with organic phosphorus. And unfortunately, it can become calcified, our pineal gland, with um, these organic phosphate crystals. It's actually called brain sand. And um, as you can see in these micrograph images, um, you will see that it is very common for people to have um, a calcified pineal gland. A calcified pineal gland is very common in young adults, and it's, at, it's even been seen in young children of two years old um, in, this, in these images. So the first superfood, nootropic, that is extremely beneficial for our spiritual organs, increasing longevity, memory, cognition, and all these other things, is our sunflower lecithin. There's nothing out there like our sunflower lecithin. It's certified organic. I don't even know if there is any other certified organic ones. Um, it's in the most raw state available compared to any other sunflower lecithin. And it is like a prime, the best source on the planet of organic phosphorus. It is the ideal food for our pineal glands. So we've got four more incredible products that are actually um, are going to help us in our process of um, conserving our lecithin um, and things like this. Uh, they're all nootropic, nootropics. Um, and they're all gonna help us with our spiritual cognitive abilities, and then also um, help us with our memory, cognition, you know, all these things to help prevent 
things happening in the future, such as Alzheimer's, dementia, and things like this. So the biggest cause of the depletion of lecithin in our pineal gland is due to the breakdown of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the brain. Now there is something called anticholinesterase activity, which inhibits the breakdown of that, this neurotransmitter acetylcholine. And the good news about that is um, it doesn't rob the pineal gland of its precursor of um, this organic lecithin. Now, of course, we don't want to be taking these pharmaceutical drugs. Um, and this is actually shown in a clinical, clinical study here. Donopazil, rivastigmine, and galantamine are the top three pharmaceutical drugs to reduce this anticholinesterase activity. Now, we don't want to be taking pharmaceutical drugs. And if you continue to read in this clinical study, it is actually talking about that the herb that we carry, Bacopa, works just as good, if not better, than these pharmaceutical drugs in stopping this, this activity. So pretty much what Bacopa does is it aids in the process of all of these neurotransmitters with acetylcholine, and it, it helps break it down to where we don't need to take any lecithin as the precursor in order to do so on an ongoing basis from the pineal gland. So when you take the superfood lecithin and this medicinal herb Bacopa, um, together while, you know, trying not to drink fluoridated water, consuming inorganic phosphates, doing the best we can in that direction, um, we're probably going to start noticing uh, much benefit in our cognitive functioning and the decalcification of our pineal glands. And the third most important um, product that we're going to talk about today is another medicinal herb. Um, that is very powerful in helping this process also. The, these first three products, lecithin, bacopa, and this one right here, are the top three that are gonna aid us in this process. There are a couple more after this, that were three more after this that we're gonna talk about next, but these three are the most potent. There's actually, and the third one is actually macunia, which is loaded with L-dopa. Now, um, there are many Ayurvedic websites on the internet. I've uh, seen this, um, I've studied this, extensively, and I didn't know why. I had to do the research to figure out why this happens, but the combination of Bacopa and Macunia supposedly helps open the third eye, it states on many of these websites. And so what I've done is all this incredible research to explain why. And we've talked about um, Bacopa, and now we're gonna talk about Macunia. And the lecithin is just the number one key ingredient here. Okay, so Macunia has L-dopa in it, and it's a precursor to dopamine. Now, this is extremely profound. As you will see in, the, there's, in these two clinical studies, here and here, I'm gonna post them on here in a second, um, it shows that there's a balancing effect between dopamine and this neurotransmitter acetylcholine. So the loss of dopamine will cause too much overproduction of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which requires lecithin. That lecithin will inevitably come from our pineal gland. So macunia keeps acetylcholine from being depleted and bacopa keeps it from breaking down. This combination is profound. And if you're drinking a lot of coffee, you're taking psych drugs, you're drinking alcohol and things like this, we are tapping into our dopamine levels. If you stress, drink too much coffee, alcohol, sugar consistently, then this is going to deplete our dopamine levels over time. The reason why we love coffee and all these stimulants so much is because it triggers dopamine um, to be enhanced and it feels really good. But what happens is the effect wears off over time. And what we have to do is increase our levels of stimulants and coffee and things like this. And the general effect over time is that we go into our dopamine reserves and deplete our dopamine levels. It's much better to increase dopamine naturally with macunia, which has loads of L-dopa in it, which is a precursor to dopamine. Macunia was actually shown in clinical studies to help patients with Parkinson's disease who were actually lacking in dopamine. And I was just reading um, some Ayurvedic website here um, just to catch back up on what I had it was reading earlier. And it actually shows that macunia and bacopa together can actually help remove amyloid deposits um, from the brain in these areas in the um, pineal gland. And this is probably one of the reasons why this combination is so good for um, the pineal gland. Now remember, as, as I was saying, we wanna be careful with this because dopamine is known as the 
motivation molecule. It helps, it gives us that jump out of the bed feeling, like we just get up and we just want to jump out of bed. It helps with our cognitive functioning. It's an aphrodisiac to sex. It helps us to focus, which is very important also. Um, so these three superfoods and herbs are the most potent and most important in helping with our spiritual cognitive abilities, our mental, physical health, um, in terms of, uh, you know, Alzheimer's and things like this. Um, so these are the three main products we're talking about. Now, the next few are pretty much to help support the dopamine levels um, because this is probably the most thing we, we need a lot of help with this due to the world we live in today with the stimulants we're taking and things like this. Um, so the following is pretty much to help support dopamine. And this is kind of like our nootropic uh, package that I'm coming out with. Um, it's already available on our website right now, which has all of these these three products we just talked about and the following ones that we're about to talk about now. Okay, so there is also a compound shown in clinical studies called uridine that um, increases dopamine levels. And this is found in our unfortified nutritional yeast. Um, also, vitamin D um, is another key component in do dopamine levels. And we actually just got the Global, the GHC, you know, the company that makes Oxy Powder, um, they have a really good vegan D, vitamin D product, um, and it's very absorbable. Um, so we're including these two products in the package also. Lastly, the vitamin B1 that is in our nutritional yeast, if your problem is more of like a stress and cortisol issue, um, the vitamin B1 in our nutritional yeast is going to help with that along with the herb ashwagandha. Um, ashwagandha has been shown to also help with the, our cortisol levels in regards to this. So this right here is the complete package of our nootropic um, package for um, increasing our spiritual cognition and um, brain cognition, I guess the physical aspects and the spiritual aspects at the same time. So I created this nootropic package on our website, which contains all six products and contains the certified organic sunflower lecithin, the macunia and the bacopa, the nutritional yeast, the vitamin D, and also the ashwagandha. Um, every, if you buy all six of them in our package, it's discounted, or you can buy each product individually if you don't want them all. You just go to the rawfoodworld.com and then go to the, uh, on the left, the nootropic um, package, nootropic products category um, and you will see everything there. I forgot to mention one more nootropic that um, we're going to be including in the package. Um, it's reishi spore extract powder. It's reishi extract powder with spores. Now the reishi spores have been shown in clinical studies to protect the hippocampus from um, breakdown from like toxins like from environmental toxins. What they did was they took rats and they injected a simulation of toxins similar to the environment and the ones that ha took the reishi spore powders um what happened was they had little to no deterioration of the hippocampus from this uh from the toxins um however the ones that didn't take the uh reishi spores um had a lot of deterioration so it's just a protective measure um for our mental and cognitive health um spiritual health and things like that so that is the seventh product in the neurotropic um, package. So it is my hope that these superfoods and medicinal herbs will help you become more aware and take your physical and spiritual health to the next level. This is Matt Monarch bringing you the best products on the planet. And we'll see you next time at therawfoodworld.com.